pumpkin update 7 19 22 man I am <laughs> all right so I've been getting busy at work and spending a lot of time there and other things we had family in the city so we went to the city the whole day and that day we got a half inch of rain and I'm I'm behind but man I, this thing has just taken over especially the Mike Schmidt plant I haven't trimmed much I trimmed outside the fence I didn't want them to grow out in the street I should probably trim these on this fence so they don't go out in the alley the Chad new 1378 is doing okay even though it rolled over and I have that pumpkin right there I gotta go get some sand tonight and get pumpkin or sand under these pumpkins it's it's doing all right but that's on the main vine now that's on the Chad new and you can see where it's been windy the last couple of days have just tore into it um we had gust up there that wow windy 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 oh I, I got something on my lens That's a little better. And I do believe I thought I had a pumpkin over here somewhere. Now I can't find it. Maybe it's that one right there. But that one seems to be done growing. And there's pumpkins outside the fence. I thought I had one on this secondary coming out. Maybe I don't. Oh, this is, it just turned into a jungle. I have been spraying for bugs. I have been fungiciding. So, hopefully things turn out. But for a giant pumpkin this year, I'm just, Still amazed by this plant, it's just super huge. Super windy today. I think we're supposed to get gust up to 35, and I think it's over that. It's a lot more windier when you get out by the outside of town. But it's a northwest wind, so it's kind of dry. It feels good. It's not so humid today. Hard to water when it's raining this much. Oh, let's take a look at that one. It's still so, oh my gosh, there's one in there. See, I, I haven't been back here. I've been back here just to look at it and turn the water on. I've been busy. Out of town yesterday. We're in the middle of wheat harvest here in our great state of South Dakota, so we're busy with that. I gotta see if I can get out of here now. Oh my goodness. Maybe I should have stopped a lot of these. I don't know. This is my second year of growing giants. I think last year I didn't have all this room. I put a sprinkler up in the middle. But that's going to have to come to an end too if the pumpkins start growing because you don't want to get them wet. And there's the fence that the tree fell on. And I can barely get the gate open. I thought I had one in here, and this is off a secondary of the Chad New, but it hasn't gotten much bigger lately, and it feels a little soft. Oh! And there's the, and what a horrible spot. That's the Mike Schmidt pumpkin that's on the main vine. It was funny looking too. And look at the size of that. Zoom out. That leaf is just huge. That's Chad New. You can see that's running all the way over there. I think that, that little, that's the main right there, sticking out. There you can see it pretty well. Well, I think this time I'm going for 
ouch, seeds. Just so I can have more of Mike's pumpkins to plant next year. And this is off a, a nice secondary. I'm gonna try to get that one to go big. I gotta go get some sand tonight though. Get those set up, maybe some shade. Well, that's about it. That this mic plant is, it grows like you wouldn't believe. If you're not on top of it, then don't do it. I'm not on top of it, and it's one heck of a jungle in there. Look at how tall some of those leaves are. Why are they so tall? I backed off on the heavy nitro, and I'm going to go with more of the, is it frostrate? To make the melons grow. So I switched up my fertilizer from making the plant grow to melon growth. But, it is what it is. Can't expect miracles this year. We've had a tough year. Four storms, tree fell in them. Hailstorm in the beginning of the year. But everything looks healthy. Looks like it's going good. It's just extremely windy. But windy for the last two days. It was windy all night last night. This morning when I got up, it wasn't as bad. So I got the water going right away and started watering. But that's going to come to an end too, so I don't have to, I don't want to get my pump, pumpkins wet. Sorry, I just had lunch. I haven't done any more vine burying because it's, you know, it's all the way out here. There's no place to step. i got to figure out other things. Look at this. This is crazy. Like there's nothing, oh, there's one leaf. But look at all that. It's stringy. I wonder how big these plants would get if you didn't actually just let it go. I've kind of let it go, and it is huge. Well, it is what it is. Hope you're all having a great week. I got to do some fishing Sunday morning. Got some bluegill and crappie. Not in my boat, a buddy's. And then I was back in town, but yesterday it was almost 100 degrees. Today they're saying 90s. But man, it is, it's warm out. We're going to have a northwest wind pattern for the next week. And it's just going to bring a drier air to our system. No moisture, so back to the heavy water. I think Saturday we had a half an inch. Well, they'll see what happens. Not going to break any records this year, but... We'll have fun at the pumpkin festival. It's always a good time. That's it. Thanks for watching.